Welcome to Morton Dock. Uh, make yourself comfortable while we finish some preliminary ship checks. My name's Theo Acosta, and I'll be running your Pilots' Federation evaluation. Most pilots assigned to me earn their license, so as long as you follow my instructions, you'll be a commander in no time. Oh, and uh, before you ask, I may sound like an Imperial, but uh, I'm actually from an independent system. Today we'll be covering the basics of flight control, combat, and frame shift drive use. This sidewinder has been installed with a specialized computer that'll take control at certain points. Mostly you'll follow a series of objectives to guide your actions. These are shown in the info panel at the top right of the head-up display. Okay, you're good to go. Select auto launch from the options ahead of you when you're ready. Auto launch is that you can relax and 
enjoy the view. One of the ways that technology allows us to appreciate the good things in life. Other applicants are departing for their own evaluations, but this isn't a race. Each of the coming stages can be completed at your own pace.
center of the first checkpoint. You'll notice that they change color as you fly through them. And we're off. There's no time limit, so maintain a comfortable speed while you familiarize yourself with the controls.
Well done. The datalink scanner is a versatile tool that connects with network interfaces and various data points. You need to move to another area of this star system to continue your assessment, pilot. Rather than travel for the next year using your thrusters, you can employ the ship's frameshift drive to increase your speed by a few orders of magnitude. First, ensure that the ship is correctly secured. Your landing gear, cargo scoop, and hard points must all be retracted. you're unfamiliar with to learn more about them. Next, you need to activate your weapons by cycling to a different fire group. You'll notice that your weapons are now listed on your HUD. Fire groups allow you to manage your hard points efficiently. Let's begin the combat evaluation. Destroy several of the canisters. Thrusters are particularly useful for navigating around. 
around large structures. Why not give them a try? Your cannon will automatically reload until the ammunition supply runs out. Meanwhile, your laser will fire until the capacitor is depleted, at which point it will need to recharge. targeting the canister you're aiming at. Quota achieved. Let's dial up the challenge a notch, shall we? An unmanned craft has arrived nearby. These drones are used by the Pilots' Federation as target practice, and they're quite harmless. To continue, bring the craft into your sights and open fire.
Right. That was the last target. Even if you're planning on a peaceful career, understanding the basics of combat is vital for a pilot's long-term survival. For advanced combat information, you should refer to the pilot's handbook, which we'll cover in more detail soon. The next step of your evaluation involves a hyperspace jump to a neighboring star system. On this occasion, your ship's computer has selected your destination for you. We'll cover selecting destinations manually soon. The mass lock indicator on the bottom right of the dashboard is active. This means a large object is in close proximity, preventing you from engaging the FSD. To resolve this, throttle up to move a safe distance away from the megaship. Remember, you can boost to temporarily increase your ship's speed.
timeshift drive charging. Ready to engage. often wonder what their first step into the galaxy should be. 
The pilot's handbook is a great source of help in this regard. It details a variety of professions and how to outfit your ship for them. The handbook also offers advice on various ship functions that aren't covered in this evaluation. You can find the pilot's handbook in the codex, accessible on the home screen via the internal interface panel. Uh, just a moment. It seems Super Cruise Assist has disengaged. just yet, pilot. Approaching without obtaining permission first could be dangerous. Good. Ease off the throttle and hold position here. Oh, and try not to block the access corridor. We'll be using the docking computer for this landing. You can always dock manually in future, of course, but practice in a training simulation first. 
Whichever method you use, all ships must seek docking permission before approaching a landing pad. To request docking permission, open your external interface panel and select the Contacts tab. Then select Quello Station in the list, followed by Request Docking in the Information Panel. Starport for a docking request to be considered. 